Welcome back, everybody. Since you've all noticed, there's been a lot of shootings going on and a lot of cops shooting other people, people getting pulled over, being shot, and the media's flipping out, and everybody's flipping out over it and having cows and everything else. So, I'm here today that I'm going to tell you five things that could save your life when you get pulled over. It's not hard. Pretty simple. Number one. Slow down, use your directional signal, and move far to the side of the road as you safely can on the highway. If the area you think the area is not safe or if it's now well lit on the highway, you can go further on down the road where you can actually go off, go down to the exit and go off to a well lit area to where you feel safe. If the officer doesn't think it's safe, he'll let you know through the PA of where else to go if he feels that that's not safe. All right, number two. Uh, come on. Bear with me. I dropped the remote or the mouse, so. Keep your window rolled down. Me, because I have dark tint, I roll all my windows down because my tent's pretty dark. Make sure you and your passengers, especially you, have your hands where they can be seen. Keep yours on the steering wheel. Have the passenger next to you put theirs on the dashboard. And the ones behind you put them on their seats. With their palms face down, the fingers straight like such. Pretty simple. Make sure the car is turned off. That's important. And you have the interior light on. If you are a concealed weapons carrier, make sure this is important. Because if you're not careful, this will get you shot pretty quick. Make sure when you have your ID in your hand and your... um insurance card and your registration make sure the first card you give them is your concealed weapons permit it should be on top of your driver's license it is very important because if you're not careful your ass will get shot think i'm playing try it and what comes out of the officer's mouth next will be where is the weapon you tell them without moving your hands off the steering wheel where the weapon is located. In my instance, it was beside me. He asked me to get out of the car, which wasn't a problem. I was okay with it. And they got the weapon out of the car and took it with them back to their car, which that was okay too. Because it's their safety is what they're worried about. I had another cop pull me over, asked me the same thing, and I told him where it was. And all he said was, keep your hands on the wheel while I'm standing here. That was okay, too. Each officer is different. You just got to follow their rules. But make sure that the whole vehicle can be seen inside. I have tent that's really dark, so I keep the windows down. And then I have the interior lights on, too, so that way somebody don't mess around and shoot my ass just because they're nervous, scared, or... Whatever their problem is. And this is number three. It's hard for me to do this, but I tend to get in trouble. If you think there wasn't a good reason for them to stop you, whether it was or wasn't, and they stopped you anyway. So, if you ain't got nothing good to say, shut up. I tend not to, and I get in more trouble. But because now I carry a concealed weapon with me, I have to keep my mouth shut. Whether you felt that you was in right being pulled over or not, that's irrelevant. If you have a weapon on you in your vehicle, you can't get mouthy, because if you do, and they feel threatened, and they shoot your ass, and it's your word against theirs, and they'll probably win. just for a general purpose. And together we call that GP. 
Number four. Going down my list here of how not to get your ass shot. Don't dig around for your license, your registration, your insurance, or any of that while the officer is approaching you. Wait till he gets up to you and shines the light in your window if you ain't got it in your hand by the time he gets it out of the car, by the time he gets out of his car. Because that's another thing that'll get your ass shot. It almost got me shot. And don't be moving around either. That almost got me shot because my wife wouldn't shut her damn mouth. She was in the back seat running her damn mouth. And I got pulled over this one time by this little bitty cop. <laughs> he was probably like five foot tall. And me being six foot and 275 pounds, I was big compared to him. And he was flipping out and he wouldn't keep his hand off his taser. And I had to look in the, in the window and say, look, man, shut up. Sit still. And I told him, I said, dude, if you tase me, we both are going to have a bad day because I'm going to beat your ass for you tasing me. So just sit back, do what you got to do, keep your hand off the taser. I'm going to stand right here until you figure out what you're doing. So it's very important that you be still and you and your passengers shut up. And number five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is so hard for me to do. Tell the officer that you want to cooperate and will follow instructions. <laughs> oh, it's so hard for me to do this. I have to because I carry to conceal weapons now. Before I didn't, and I said what I want to say. Now I can't, so this is what it is. You have to say it in a pol polite way. And look at the officer as you are saying it. Because if you appear to be trying to hide their hide your eyes, then the cop's going to think something's up. And no matter how smart ass he gets, just sit there and remain calm. If you don't have a concealed weapons on you, do whatever you want to do. Because it's less likely you'll get your ass shot. You may or may not. But if you have a concealed weapon and you show that to him and then you start acting an ass, <laughs> you're in for it. Trust me. I've done went down this.